Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about our really exciting advancements in interior segment imaging, uh, something we haven't seen in a while. Surveying the last 30 years of interior segment imaging starts with the UBM. You've seen images up there, ultrasound, first in the 80s, then interior segment, OCT. Very important advancement, the Zeiss Vasante, the first technology there, now moving to spectral domain as well as, as sweat source imaging. And finally, ArcScan Insight. For the first time, we provide OCT-like images, but also seeing behind the iris. Like the dark side of the moon, for the first time, we shed light on this very important part uh, of the eye. We have three key value propositions. With that imaging behind the iris, we can provide important assistance in research activities for AIOLs, uh, concerns where you may have with lens tilt, uh, centration, et cetera, with all the advanced technology IOLs. Second, by providing a full complement of interior segment measurements, we provide some of the earliest tracking and management of ocular hypertension and glau glaucoma. Finally, in the clinical setting for your toughest cases, after surgery, refractive surprises, with a simple three minute to four minute seat time at the instrument, we can provide you a comprehensive view of what happened to that surgery. Let me give you some examples in, in therapeutics. We're gonna talk about ICLs, you're all very familiar with it. It's been out there for a number of years. We provide key and precise measurements, sulcus to sulcus, zonular insertion into the ciliary process in the front of the capsule. Uh, we also have here an example of the ICL. We, we, we check our accuracy of device against uh, uh, mounted in saline imaging with very good agreement uh, with uh, that, in this case, the ICL. So great precision on pre-op measurements. We can do multi-meridian as well in a matter of seconds. So if you want to look at for a target location for a haptics, depending on your particular lens, um, we provide that easily with the instrument. Post-off, we also make critical me measurements here, the key, the vault of the ICL, in this case, right in the target range. Uh, we can also, again, multi-meridian. You can see, did those meridians, uh, did the haptics wind up in the right place? Glaucoma detection and management. Here we have our glaucoma report. We provide all of Pavlin's measurements, as he disclosed back in the 90s. We also provide behind the iris measurements that go beyond Pavlin's measurements. Again, looking at uh, capsule rise, lens rise, uh, uh, looking for cysts that we can now track and measure accurately. Um, we can also assess the MIGS outflow pathways, suprachoroidal space, subconjunctival, as well as trabecular meshwork. This is a key market for us. Glaucoma is a big, big imaging market. If you look at OCT, posterior segment imaging today, about six and a half million procedures alone in the US. We want to be in that same position for interior segment imaging of glaucoma. We have a CPT code, and with it, uh, a very generous reimbursement of $180 for a bilateral scan. We have a desktop instrument. This is not a handheld device. You don't have the fuss and muss of uh, getting a patient on the table, gluing in uh, Prager shell, et cetera. Um, great patient comfort. We do have a consumable, uh, which provides location and stabilization of the patient's eye. It's a sterile single-use uh, device. And finally, in the clinical setting, um, where you have those situations where you just don't know what happened. The patient comes back a day, a week, a month later with a uh, refractive surprise. Some examples of where, again, in a very short seat time, we can provide instant uh, full view of what happened with the patient. In this case, uh, bilateral IOL, tension ring used in one eye. You can see that in the left image. Uh, without that tension ring uh, on the other, uh, in the companion eye, uh, that lens dropped and gave about a 0.95 millimeter difference 
and position of the lens, giving uh, quite a refractive problem for this patient. I hate to pick on ICLs. There are a lot of them out there. This case, a tilted lens. This patient came back um, after, after a couple weeks. Um, and uh, again, in a very short amount of time, we imaged both eyes. And in fact, in this eye, we did multi-meridian imaging. So not only could we view this in the bicanthal plane, but a number of meridians to assess what was the, uh, what was the plane of tilt, and also make measurements of tilt angle, uh, the excessive vault, uh, looking at the extension of the iris. Uh, in this case, it was on the temporal side. Another example on the refractive side, we don't, uh, this is actually the, leg the legacy of our technology. It was uh, corny imaging of the epithelium, uh, originally developed by Dr. Dan Reinstein. Uh, in this case, we were using it to assess a post-op smile procedure of about um, five months, and it was a thin, rather thin cornea. They had to do an enhancement. And so based on the imaging of that very difficult uh, femtosecond pocket, very difficult to image, uh, the assessment was made uh, that we had to do a PR, we had to do PRK, surface ablation, and an hour later, uh, that's, uh, we did that in a surgical center. So our scan is our sales are accelerating. Uh, we have regulatory approvals around the world, FDA, CE mark now rolling out in Asia Pacific as we push through with distribution in that part of our world. Single device supports all of these applications. And again, it provides comprehensive imaging with a very, very short uh, seat time. Any technician can use this device. No longer the nightmare of your one sonographer is on vacation. Any technician can use the device. And we're seeing now lots of traction in the US military, Camp Lejeune Naval Medical Hospital, as well as Walter Reed uh, love their device. Wrapping up, uh, uh, we are, uh, I want to skip forward. Uh, la last slide, please. Yeah, this is the last slide. We are in a first institutional fundraise to accelerate sales and marketing, and also lay the, this, the table, set the table for a second generation device. We're also looking for QL, KOLs to work with us to advance uh, the science of our technology as well as the science in the field of ophthalmology as well as with research partners. Music